Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your forecast horoscope for your mid-January readings. It's going to be taking place from now until the end of January. This is going to cover love and wealth. And my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. The latest thing that I just put up on there is on the Scott Peterson case. So if you're interested in that, and also I've also done uh, the the case for the Black Dahlia, uh, John Benny Ramsey, um, Natalie Wood, and there's multiple other things to go check out. So if you haven't seen it yet, so say hi to me over there and I'll say hi to you. All right, my darling. So we're going to talk about love and then wealth. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's get right in. All right, what's going to happen for my Virgo's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's Career and Finance. For now, until the end of January, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's take a look here. All right, so we got the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Page of Swords. And remember, this is going to happen sooner, right? This is going to be the next up, and then this is going to be towards the end of the month here. Okay, so um, let's also get some more clarity here. I'm going to um, also take a look at this deck over here. And first start off with the Oracle card. So what does Virgo need to know for their situation, whatever that may be, spirit? For now, until the end of January, what do they need to know that could help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, the first card we got is Beneath the Surface. The second card we have is Relaxation. And the third card is Mindfulness. Okay. By the way, the deck on this, guys, is the Energy Spirit. I just got this one. I got it actually from Barnes and Noble. I was like surprised they had some good decks over there. So I wanted to try. I've been wanted to try it out. So beneath the surface, hidden truth, something unknown. So I would say, what do you need to know this month? There's something that you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg on. Okay. There's something a lot more going on beneath the surface that you're not aware of that's about to come to the surface. So something unexpected is happening this month. Some unknowns and some hidden truths around your situation is about to be revealed. Spirit is saying you need to give your time, you need to meditate, contemplate, relax a little bit more this month, okay? Um, be a little bit more peaceful and be a little bit more happier here, Virgo. Um, remember, we control our own happiness. So. And mindfulness, quiet your mind. Watch out for that mental chatter. Remember, Virgo, your ruler is Mercury. Mercury is a constant thinking, 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 thinking. Try to be a little bit more in that mindset of not allowing those mindful thoughts to, to constantly cloud your mind, you know? Uh, not to let this mental chatter get to you. So a little bit more meditation, contemplation, and relaxation here. Uh, also, I get the sense of that there's some unresolved things within you that needs to be dealt with here this month, okay? I get the sense this is you, okay? So it's like, you know how sometimes emotionally we can stuff things down? Like, you guys compartmentalize, I get the sense of here. And uh, the thing about it is this needs to be defaulted, okay? This is an iceberg, so it needs to be defaulted. It needs to let go of, you know, so there's some kind of energetic block, blockage here that needs to be worked out. And you're, you're going to do that by giving yourself some more time alone and, and to think and to contemplate and to be more aware of what's going on with your mind. Because I get the sense of with this particular card, you have to remember that your thoughts create the reality. Okay, so because you can see that this mind is, is, is a part of the world. And we see there's a lot of clouds here. So there may be some mental chatter that may be clouding your judgment, may causing you a sense of confusion. But if you give yourself some time to really contemplate the meditate and really stay in more of a happier mode, you could resolve some of these inner things that have been, been plaguing you for a while. Okay, 
So let's move into your reading now. Okay, so remember we're talking about romantic love life first, and then we're gonna talk about your career in finance. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So it looks like there's a person that's trying to defend their position, okay? You may work with this person with a three of pentacles energy. They may be younger than you with a page of swords, okay? Or this person, there may be a little bit of a naivete. They don't have to be younger, but they could be. They just could be coming off a little bit like um, younger, okay? This can also, pages can also represent children uh, for some of my readers out there. So this can be a child, okay? This can be childishness. This can be immaturity. This can be new perspective, new ideas. Some readers see this as a spying card. I don't see this page of swords as a spying card. I see the seven of swords more as a spying card. And of course, there's other card combinations that could point to that, but we see there's this sense of naivete. Let's get some clarity about what this Three of Pentacles is about, because I want to make sure there's not a third party situation going on here. All right, so, and also you may work with your love interest too, okay, or you have some kind of business with them. Okay, so, what's gonna have my Virgo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Virgo's career in finance for now until the end of January. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here. There seems to be this person that feels like their hands are tied, they're trapped in a situation. You see there's a main person. There you go, you got the child card energy. As I said, it can represent a child, it can represent a fresh start, new opportunity, okay? a naivete, wanting to be playful here, okay? So someone's like, I really have the higher ground here, but I feel like my hands are tied. I'm trying to work together, build something with you with the Three of Pentacles energy. I hope I'm not being naive about this, you know, maybe there's some sense of immaturity or something to do with a child here for some of you guys. So let's see what this is about. Or my hands are tied because of a child. All right, so what's gonna my Virgo's romantic love life? For now until the end of January. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I have feelings for you. I love you. I feel trapped, isolated, separated. I want to defend my position. You're getting some kind of spiritual messages. Your intuition's telling you something about this situation. Three of Pentacles could talk about more than one person involved in the situation, or it could be saying, I want to build something with you, you know, I want to um, find a creative solution, or you may work with this person for some of you guys. There's a, a strong chemistry and passion. You may be questioning this new situation, feeling maybe I'm being a little bit naive about this. Okay, so let's go to the next card deck here. This one of my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's career and finance for now until the end of January. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see here, Virgo. Yeah, someone's concerned about some kind of restrictions, some boundaries, some issues around that, some like, why do you have your wall up here kind of energy. I want to find that courage, strength, or confidence here for success in the connection. Okay, so let's go further. Looks like you're gonna be doing some juggling about some kind of decision here uh, in the month here of January. And looks like someone has a very strong desire toward you, a strong obsession here with the devil card energy. And there's concerns about you leaving them out in the cold. I get the sense for some of you guys, you have more than one choice here because of the fact that it looks like this decision or someone's gonna have to be left out in the cold. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. There seems to be this sense of despair. Yeah, we see this motherly energy, okay, this nurturing energy, someone who is trying to give some kind of good advice, some memories of the past, okay, could represent an infringing party for some of you guys. And we see a relationship, okay, let's keep going. There's stress and anxiety about a friendship and multiple people involved with this situation, okay? I'm trying to have acceptance 
of this help. And yeah, there's more than one person involved with this because it says that you're not alone. So far I see that there's restrictions and boundaries. Somebody's trying to accept the situation, trying to find that courage, strength, or confidence to get some kind of help. You have the success in your romantic love life and you know you're not alone. There's something that's coming to light for you. Okay, so let's keep going. There's something to do with a commitment, engage your marriage. And we see a masculine energy, it could be a father, could be someone who's giving some kind of good advice about how to heal your situation. You're finding that strength and courage and confidence there. There's some romance coming in by the end of the month here with the Knight of Cups energy because someone's concerned about some kind of loss around the situation because they're missing you. And we see they're trying to clear the blockages here in the energy. Yeah, someone's really wanting to travel towards you. They have strong desires for victory here with the chariot card energy. Because of an ending, a taking a break, okay? We see this new love or an offer of love, Ace of Cups energy, and finding a direction around the situation. Okay, let's bring it together, let's bring it together. Okay, so that someone's deciding, okay, there's some kind of blockages here. And I'm trying to accept this situation, be strong, find that courage and strength of confidence. I'm reaching out to somebody for help so I can clear away these blockages and I'm successful. I wanna make sure that you know we're on the same page here when I see you're not alone and that we have the same direction, we're going in the same direction. Okay, Virgo, I love you, and I'm stressing about how to heal this situation. You're getting some kind of spiritual messages about this friend, and it looks like they're missing you, and they're longing for your embrace once again. There is a lot of chemistry and passion, but I do get the sense you have more than one choice here with the socializing card, or there's some infringing people here, and we do see there's an offer of love here with Ace of Cups energy. Oh, this part's very straightforward. And if I look here, making an effort towards a relationship and a commitment is the wise decision to make a power move, which I'm going to make a decision about. My hands are tied. I'm trapped. I'm stuck in despair of getting some kind of good advice. Or we see this masculine energy. We see main male, and then we see another person. We see their sense of, there's concerns of some kind of loss. We see a new person and a relationship Ending a relationship for a new beginning, I get the sense of. Okay. Also, this can be a, a mother and a father energy involved with this. If they're not people, it's just saying memories of the past and good advice. Okay. I want to defend my position, Virgo, and I want to make the best decision. I've been juggling some things back and forth about a marriage or commitment. I want to find a creative solution to work together. I have strong desires and I'm obsessed with these. I want to re take romantic gestures. I hope I wasn't naive about the situation or there was some immaturity that causes some kind of loss here with the Five of Pentacles energy. And we see the Cherry card is the last card talking about strong desires, willpower, and we see victory. So let's read it this way as well. I want to defend my position. There could be more than one person here. I don't want to be naive about this situation. I need to make a decision. I have strong desires, obsessed. I don't want to lose this marriage, lose this commitment. So I'm going to take romantic gestures so I can have a victory here in the chariot card energy. Juggling more than one person, loss of the situation. So taking romantic gestures, defending a position, being concerned about naivete, someone younger or a child, desires, for victory in a marriage or commitment. Okay. Let's get you guys some advice. Ah, I'm gonna have to reshuffle that for the career and finance. Okay, let's get you guys some advice. What's gonna happen my Virgos, romantic love life? What's, what do they need to know about the romantic love life for now until the end of January? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Virgo, you know what's best for you, okay? You have enough life experience to know what's best for you. 
Really give yourself some time to immerse yourself in your imagination, your thoughts, and pay attention to the omens and signs. Stand your ground in what you want and own your power. You can find a creative solution here, okay? Pay attention to your dreams, your visions, and free yourself from any guilt or shame of something that you're confused about or you feel like it's an illusion here. All right, so let's move into your career and finance here, Virgo. I'm gonna have to reshuffle this because I put the card decks on top. Normally I put it at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what's going on my Virgo's career and finance for now until the end of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Ooh. Thanks, Spirit. Relationship, something completing or accomplished, making a choice. Okay, what's going on my Virgo's career and finance for now until the end of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Oh, wow, there's money coming in here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. Something you're getting accomplished and you're completing here with the Ten of Pentacles energy. You're definitely feeling like you're in control here with the King of Wands energy. We see that the Five of Pentacles energy here, it could talk about some kind of loss. So see, let's see what that's about. Okay, so we see this. I did it with this one too. Ah. What's going to happen by Virgo's career in finance for now until the end of January? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So it looks like there is some kind of socializing you're doing. There's something to do with the public. Okay. This represents a larger group of people. Okay. We see there's some money coming in from that. There's some worries and concerns that are going to be brought up, but you guys are going to take control of that and make power moves here towards your creativity and your passions. You're making the decision to spend some money here with the Five of Pentacles energy. And then let's go even further. What's going to have my Virgo's career in finance for now until the end of January? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So you're taking the first steps because you're a little bit confused about your situation to bring some things to light. Okay. You're playing politics here and you're using your logic and your intelligence to take a leadership role to deal with this competition, to deal with this frustration, to deal with these arguments and disputes. Looks like you're going to multitask here, okay, with the two of pentacles energy. It looks like you're going to be juggling two different things at once. There's some kind of interview or small meeting here with the family room coming out and there's going to be some issues around it. We see that you're going to get some kind of communication, letter, message, document, okay? You're accepting the situation and you're staying strong and you're giving your perspective about what's going on, okay? Looks like by the end of the month, you guys are defending your position and it looks like you're, you've been waiting for something here. It looks like you're able to be your true self here towards the end of the month. Yep, Magician card energy shows me you're manifesting something that you've wanted. You be getting, you're getting some kind of good advice from an older feminine energy or this is something to do with the past that you've really loved. We see that you're taking on more responsibilities here by the end of the month. And you're concerned about some kind of loss here, so you're listening to your intuition here. Okay, so let's bring it all together. You're taking the first steps to accept this situation and just go into your power. You are a little confused about what to do, and it looks like you're taking control of your situation and going towards something that you love and bringing light to that, and giving your perspective to others and listening to your intuition. Okay, so you're following your intuition here by the end of the month. So this meeting, this public situation, and this small meeting here, interview, is something you've been waiting for. There's a little worries and concern that cause a little bit of despair when it comes to this older feminine energy or this person that's trying to give you some kind of advice here. We see that you're making some kind of decision here or you're getting some kind of justice here and it seems like there's some kind of communication, letter, message, document. This also can represent a check and concerns of some kind of loss, okay? Losing something, ah, so you're trying to juggle things 
and just take on more responsibility instead of losing everything here, okay, or losing this other opportunity. Okay, so there's a sense of accomplishment and completion here, and you're playing politics with the King of Swords energy to defend your position. You're taking a leadership role here and to fight for what you want so you can have this personal power. You're concerned about some kind of loss, so you're trying to juggle multiple things and you feel a little bit overwhelmed. So be careful that, about that by the end of the month there. There's this defeated energy within you, but you have strong desires for a victory here. And you don't want to miss this opportunity. So you're looking at this from a new perspective and communicating what you want here, Nine of Cups energy. So let me get you some advice, Virgo. Okay, let's use this deck. Can I have some advice for my Virgos for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to their career in finance from now until the end of January? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see here, Virgo. All right, be patient. You do have a lot of possibilities here. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, we have abundance coming in for you. And we see people, community, and focus on things that you love. There is a, a situation that you're going to relook at, or you need to relook at a situation here so you can hit the bullseye. Stay hopeful, so don't lose hope. There is some kind of communication or messages coming in through a relationship, um, so, and be cautious and protective about that. Yes, you have an opportunity coming in, the doors are opening up for you, and you're gonna, it's gonna be brought to light soon. So give yourself some time to really think about this before, and don't let it disrupt you, okay? All right, my beautiful Virgos. I love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.